Uh, Madam Speaker, I'd like to yield a minute and a half to my good friend from the state of Texas, Mr. Crenshaw. Gentlemen's recognized for a minute and a half. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I rise today in opposition to HR1. And I've always found it interesting that elections are the one thing my colleagues on the other side don't want to strictly regulate. See, there's this mythology amongst Democrats that common sense rules in an election are synonymous with voter suppression. They make it sound like you have to go through an obstacle course to go vote. This isn't true. It's nonsense, and everybody knows it. Truth is that four out of five Americans support voter ID laws. And countless Americans have expressed concern because they receive mail-in ballots for other people addressed to their homes. They want this fixed, and they don't want the problem to get worse. But this bill makes elections less trustworthy, not more. And trust is everything. When people can see the faults in the process, whether it's ballots at the wrong house or careless verification processes, they believe people are cheating. You can't just dismiss that. We have to fix it. But instead, this bill makes permanent the problematic election practices that cause distrust. For example, ballot harvesting, which creates serious chain of custody issues. Universal mail-in voting without safeguards, which creates the kind of chaos where your ballot ends up in somebody else's hands. Or forcing states to disregard their own voter ID laws and use sworn statements instead of an ID. The integrity of our elections must be self-evident, wherein the mere possibility of fraud is improbable because the process itself is airtight and secure. Many states do not meet this standard. We should be working together to make elections more secure, not less. And if that is indeed our mutual goal, and I pray that it is, I implore my colleagues to work with us. I yield back. Gentlelady from California. Let me ask how much time is uh, remaining on each side. Gentlelady has six minutes remaining. The gentleman from Illinois has seven minutes remaining. Thank you very much. At this point, I'd be honored to yield to the gentlelady uh, from Pennsylvania, a member of the House Judiciary Committee, Ms. Scanlon, one minute. Gentlelady is recognized for one minute. Thank you, Ms. Lofgren. Over the last 30 years, I've been a poll worker, an election judge, an election protection lawyer, and a civics ed educator working to protect the right to vote. I've seen firsthand the flaws in our system that prevent Americans from participating in our democracy. Voter suppression tactics, the influence of dark money, gerrymandering, and other anti-democratic practices have all disenfranchised voters. In my home state of Pennsylvania, voters have been the victim of such tactics for years. But Americans have made clear that we want a government for the people, by the people, and House Democrats are answering that call. I'm particularly proud that my bills to increase access for voters with disabilities, bring transparency to inaugural funds, and increase the availability of ballot drop boxes have all been included in this legislation. I'm also hopeful that my amendment to increase access to early voting for college students will also be included. HR1 will strengthen our democracy and ensure that the power in our government rests with the people. I yield back. 